Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to Rainy Day Guitar. Okay, so today I'm going to play Lavender's Blue. I'm going to show you how to play Lavender's Blue from the movie Cinderella. This is my really sweet friend McKenna who's going to come and sing for me so I don't have to. Huh? But she was singing it and I thought, oh, she sounds so much better than me, so I'm going to let her sing it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and play this through once and then I'm going to show you an easy version and a hard version. But this is the song, in case you're wondering. Okay, here we go. It's from the movie Cinderella. Okay. It's just this little red button right here. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay you, you can go. Thank right. you so much. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to. Um, I'm going to show you how to play that easy version, and then I'm going to show you a version that sounds like this, where you make your guitar sing. But I didn't want to do it while she was here because I knew I'd mess up. So let's see. So I, I, this is this is the more the more advanced version. It's not too advanced, so you can do it. out the bugs but that's the general idea she's leaving she's moving in a couple days so we thought we just better get this down here we go okay so what so let me show you the beginning version and then I'll show you that intermediate version okay so starting on an A my capo's on four okay and I'm just gonna go ahead and put my fingers on an A if you don't know these chords you can go to rainydayguitar.com the beginner tab I think it's the second item down has a chord sheet you can print off and it has all of these chords okay with the exception of the F sharp minor which I will show you and the B minor which they may both be on the chord sheet at the bottom of that page, the more intermediate one. But anyway, I'll show them to you anyway. Okay, so we're going to start on an A. And what I did was I just went. So that pick was five, because my bass note's five on an A. Five, three, two, three, one, two. I think I did. She does it. I'm not a soprano. Then go to a D. Bass note is four. And now I'm going to go four, three, two, three, one, two, four, three, two, three, one, two. Lavender's green. Then an A. When back, same thing. When I am. Now I'm going to do an F sharp minor. I don't really need. This is an F sharp minor, but I don't need these two guys. So I can just lay my second finger across all these strings on the. On the second, I mean, all the strings on the second fret, or if I want to get technical, I can take 
instead of pointer, tall, ring, I can shift up. Tall, pointer, ring, oh no. Tall, ring, pinky, and take my pointer and put them on the sixth string. And that leaves me my same note. La, and you can still do that, okay? You can't really. That kind of clashes a little bit. So if you like it better, shift up from your A to pinky, ring, and point. Pinky, ring, and tall man, and pointer's on six, so you're not holding down one and five on the second fret, okay? Then you can do bass four, or you could do bass three, twins three, twins is one and two, plucked together, that's my little nickname for them. Okay, six, three, twins three, twins three. So you start on an A. If you could remember to grab it, that'd be super easy. A shortcut to an E, okay, just to, there's not quite what they're doing, but we're just going to take a little shortcut here and jump right to the E, and it works great if you're not playing with them. You shall be, and I'd maybe move into the middle there, you shall be, and then back to an A, queen, into the middle, meaning two, three, four, instead of one, two, three. So, that's not in the middle, because I'm on the outer notes, one, two, three, now I'm going to move in the middle, two, three, four. So that's what I call it. Moving into the middle is moving your, your one, two, three into two, three, four. And do the same pattern, but you get a different sound. Okay? Okay, so the, let's do the second verse here. Who told you so? Dilly, dilly. I just went from in to out. Did you hear that? And then a D. Who told you so? A. Twas my own. And then I'm going to lay it down here. Just move into the middle if you do that. Okay? If you, if you bar. Heart, lost my place. Heart, dilly, dilly. E, that told me. Then back to an A. So, then there's a little guitar interlude. We're going to play a G. And all I did there was I went. Oh, I did change my pick on you, didn't I? So there's two picks you can do. You can do bass three, twins three, twins three, or bass three, two, three. One of those works, and I kind of go back and forth as you saw. Or I'm going to do the bass three, twins three. Oh, sorry, A. Bass three, twins three, twins three. So that's five, three, twins three, twins three. Okay, ready? I'm going to go into the middle, two, three, four, and six. King, dilly, dilly, E. Uh, you shall be. Back to A, queen. Okay, I'm going to go back to the other pick for the second part, okay? Who told you so, dilly, dilly? Sorry, I can't sing. Who told you so? A, twas my own. Now reach up and shift up. even need to do that if you don't hit four. Huh, if you stay out of the middle, you don't even have to move. You can just go from an A and reach up. Huh, kind of cool. I just thought of that just now. Dilly, dilly. Then an E. That told me a so. Okay, guitar. Back to the guitar interlude. G. I'm going to go six. Yeah, six, three, two, one, two, three. I'm just going to kind of walk up and walk down. Actually, I guess I'm going this direction. Six is up. <laughs> I'm going to start with six, three, two, one, two, three, like that. Six, three, two, one, two, three, then a D. Four, three, two, one, two, three, then an E. Now here I'm definitely going to want to, I'm going to want to grab um, three and six at the same time. I'm probably going to go six and three, four, five, three, put my pink, pinky on the third string second fret right underneath my ring finger and I'm gonna go I'm gonna go three four then I'm gonna take him I'm gonna take him off and my ring finger off and I'm gonna grab two and six and go two three four two three four. I'm gonna do a double there two three four two three four just do it twice but not plucking six the first time two three four two three four okay so 
that's an E7. So I started on an E, I added my pinky, and then I lifted them both off, and that gives you an E7 and a nice walk up to connect them. So it sounds like this. So I'm going to start with just the E walking up to E7, okay? So I'm going to go 6 and 3, 4, 5, 3, put your pinky down, 3, and probably grab 6 there. 6 and 3, 4, let go of your ring and pinky, grab a 6 and 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, so it sounds like this, but I can do it right. Pretty? Okay, so that's a nice little E minor thing. I mean, the E to E7, sorry. Okay, so my guitar transi transition sounds like that. Well, it's not a transition, it's a little interlude. Ah, let go too soon. Okay, or you could even hold it. No, I don't like that as well. Plucking everything. Back to the A. Come up your dilly dilly set and to work. A. Some to up plow dilly plow dilly dilly. E. Mm -hmm. That's my place. Some to the fork. Some to make hay dilly dilly. Some to cut corn. While you and I. Back to a little guitar interlude. I changed that slightly. I like that better. And you start the next verse. Okay, so you do that two more times, and the very ending it just says guitar. And I'm gonna go on a D, I'm gonna go four and one, two, three, one, two, three. So I pluck my bass note four and one at the same time. Four and one, two, three, one, two, three. And then an A, five and one, two, three, one, two, three. Then I'm gonna do kind of something interesting. I'm gonna grab, technically it's an E with a pinky on the second string, but you don't need these guys because you're not gonna play them. So what I'm I'm just gonna grab my, I'm gonna switch my fingering around. Ring finger on the second string, third fret, pointer on the third string, first fret, and I'm gonna grab six and two. Yeah, probably. Yeah, so I'm gonna grab six and two, three, slide down to the second fret, or switch fingers, I don't care, but you're holding the second string, second fret. So I don't hold my ring, I don't hit my bass note every time. Six and two, three, slide or move, two, three, let go of your tall man, two, three, and then a two and A, and just pluck five and three. Or you could pluck it all if you wanted to, but I kind of don't like that high note there. Done, I still kind of like this. There's an option. I'll show you that one in the advanced. Okay, all right, so now I'm gonna do the advanced. Actually, it's more of the intermediate. It's not very hard. Okay, so it's gonna sound like this, but we're gonna make our guitar sing, which is really cool. Okay, so we're going to go on to an A, and we're going to pluck 5 and 3, and then 4. Okay, so what I did there was I went 5 and 3, 4, 1 and 2 together, twins, I'm going to call them twins, 3, twins, 3. You need to hit your bass note on that third time. Okay, I didn't realize that till just now. Five and three, four, twins, three, twins, three, twins, three, and bass, three, okay? Got it? Now I'm going to slide my ring finger up. On, I'm on an A, but I'm going to slide him up to the third fret, just my ring finger. And I'm going to pluck the second strings. This is an A. This is an A, I think, suspended fourth, okay? Or sustain. I can never remember. Sustain. Sustain. Sus. Whatever that stands for. <laughs> Sus four. Okay. A. So you're going to go. I lost my place. Then you're going to go two, two, two. Take him off. And then, and then hit three. So I'm going to go two with my ring finger on the second string, third fret. Pull him back into an A, second string, second fret. Take my ring finger off and hit two again. So I'm going da, 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 all on the 
second fret. Okay, da, 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 then you hit three. Okay, so you just have to kind of practice that. Ah, sorry. Not pretty. Now go to a D, and we're going to grab three and four. And we have to alternate with five, so we're going to reach up and pluck five. Okay, so pluck three and four together, then five, then reach up and grab one and two. That's, I'm calling these twins. Twins, three, twins, three, grab, now you have to grab four. One, two, and four. So I went one, two, and four, three, two, one, two, three. So your D is. So far we have Not pretty. Okay, now an A, back to the A, same exact thing. Well, no, it's not true. Half of the same exact thing. Now we're going to shift up with our pointer and grab six. And I'm hoping I'm not going to do four, because otherwise I'll have to shift. And I think I can get away with not. So I'm grabbing one, two, and six, and I'm grabbing three, so I'm okay. If I wanted to hit four, it might be safe just to shift up and put pinky, ring, and tall, just in case you bump four, because otherwise it's going to clash. I don't think you need it, though. So what I did was I did the exact same thing with my pinky this time, or if you're still on A, Two and E, but I'm going to do a different one. I'm going to go. No, I'm not. Hmm, hold on a second. How did I do that? I'm not sure I love that. I like that better. Okay, so even though I'm hearing this bass note, da, da, What did I hear? Just a minute. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I just tried to add something. It wasn't a good idea, but that's kind of what they're doing. Down. So what I'm doing is you're coming off of the and then just go like that. It's really easy. Two on the second string on the third fret and pointer on the first string, no, third string, first fret. Grab six and two. This is what I did before I showed you this. And grab six and two, three, slide back, two. Actually, I don't think you hit six again. Two, three, then take it off, two, three, and then an A. Five and two, no, five and three, four, three, two, three, four, and you're back to the beginning. Okay, I'm going to play that really slow, kind of talking it out. <sighs> okay, five and two, three, four, twins, three, twins, three, five, one and two, three, two, 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 three, grab a D, four and three, five, twins, three, Twins, three, one, two, and four. Three, two, one, two, three. Back to A. Five and two, four. Twins, three, twins, three. Reach up and grab six, one and two. Three. Okay, then go two, 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 three. Then do this funny little chord here. Your pinky or your, I don't care who does that, but third, second string, third fret. Grab two and six, three, two, three, two, three, then an A, five and three, four, three, two, three, four. So I'm going to try to sing it. I, mm, I can't do this as well. This is why I didn't make her sit through all my mistakes. <laughs> okay, here we go. Love
playing on the guitar. I just added a one there, but you don't have to. I think, I'm, I, think I like six and one here. Six and one, three, two, one, two, three, D, four and one, three, two, one, three, two, three, E. I definitely like the same thing I showed you before. So six and three, six and three, four, five, three, two, two, three, I don't know. Okay, I'm doing it right, I'm saying it right. Six and three, four, five, three, three, four. Let go of your other guys and pluck two and six. Six, six and two, three, four, two, three, four. Yeah, that works, and then back to an A. Huh. Okay, so I won't go through all the verses with that. You just keep repeating that. So then you repeat that and you go all the way through until you get to the ending and I think I showed you everything that I wanted to show you on the ending accidentally. So you're going to go four and one, two, four and one, three, two, one, two, three, then an A, five and one, three, two, one, two, ah, five and one, three, two, one, two, three, then back to that E, well, it says E, but it's really, doesn't look like an E, that's an E, but it is, okay, but I just only need those bottom guys. I'd probably go on the advanced version. I'd probably go five and three, three, two, one, sliding up to the one, two, three, four, fifth fret, pinching the first two, tall man on the third string, and ring finger on the fourth. Actually, I guess you don't need the fourth, so just those two. Then pluck one, two, and one, two, three, and five. And I'd end it like that, so it'd sound like this. I do I always blow the last note? Bass note five, not six. Okay, so there you go. That's a really fun version of Lavender's Blue. And you can go to rainydayguitar.com and you can print off the words with the chords above it. Super helpful. And um, I need to practice the intermediate version. I just barely figured this out. We saw the movie yesterday and came home last night and figured it out. We thought, oh, let's do it. So we're doing it. All right, for more fun songs, go to Rainy Day Guitar. There's lots of other good stuff on there. All right, have a great day.